Hi there! So we are going to start paper weaving today. Um, we're going to use the two papers that we decorated last week and we're going to turn them into our paper weaving. Now paper weaving can be difficult and it is one of those things that you have to follow the directions exactly or it's not going to work out. So please feel free to pause the video or rewind and go back to parts that you don't understand or need to try again because it can be complicated and difficult for some people. So please don't feel bad if you don't get it on the first try. You can always um, take it apart and try again. So let me show you how we get started. Weaving is an ancient and traditional art form used to make a variety of things like rugs, blankets, clothing, and even baskets. Cultures all around the world have been using weaving for thousands of years. So we're gonna learn how to do that here in our virtual art class. Okay, so take out your two pieces of paper that we created last art class. We're going to need to cut both of them, but in different ways. So I'm gonna start with my painted paper. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut it into strips. So I'm going to cut the short sides. So I'm not gonna cut long ways. I'm gonna cut short. And I'm gonna try to make my strips as even as possible. It's okay if they're not perfect. But I don't wanna have one really skinny one and a couple of really big ones. So this one isn't really the same size as those. So I'm not gonna use that one. I want them to be about the same size. I'm gonna turn the second piece of paper into a loom. A loom is a tool on which one weaves. So the loom that I'm making is gonna be out of paper, but a lot of times artists who create weavings using string and yarn and thread will have a big wooden loom. Here, I'll show you a picture of what one looks like. So there are two kinds of string that you need to do a weaving. You need warp strings and weft strings. Warp strings are the strings that you saw attached to the wooden loom that you're going to weave over, under, over, under with the weft strings. So for our project, the strips of paper we're going to call the weft strings and we're going to turn our second paper into a loom and warp strings. So here's what you need to do first. Fold your paper in half so that the short sides are coming together and make a crease. So that means press that fold down. Find the folded side, find the crease, and turn that to face you. Okay, so you'll need to grab a pencil, and what we're gonna do is we are going to make eight marks along the crease of our folded paper. Now it's important that when we fold, we fold our design inside. Because if I try to do what I'm about to do on this side, it will be very hard for me to see with all of my colors and patterns here. So I'm gonna refold, make sure that the folded part is facing you, that's very important. And I'm gonna make eight marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna try to make sure that those are spaced equally, but it's okay if they're not perfect. What you definitely don't wanna have is all of your eight marks squished onto one corner of the paper. Try to spread out the eight marks all the way across. You also don't wanna put your marks right next to the edge of the paper. You wanna leave some space between your pencil and the edge of the paper. So take a look at how I've made mine and go ahead and add those marks on your paper. Okay. Next, I'm gonna flip the paper around and have the open side facing me. This time, I'm going to start at the corner. I'm gonna move my pencil up about an inch. So let's take this part of your thumb, lay it down next to your paper, and make a mark right at where your thumb starts to curve back towards your hand. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Using my thumb, find where my thumb curves back towards my hand 
and make a mark on my paper there. If you have a ruler at home, you could do this with a ruler, but if you don't have one, using your finger works just as fine. Now I'm gonna do the very best that I can to connect those two dots with a straight line. It's okay if it's not perfect. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to flip my paper back over, put my pencil down, and I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut lines from these eight marks up to this straight horizontal line that I made. So watch carefully, because if this part isn't right, then your weaving is not going to work. So I'm going to carefully take my scissors, I'm gonna cut in as straight of a line as I can until I reach this horizontal line and then stop. We are not cutting anything off of our loom. This is gonna to stay together, it's just going to have lines cut into it. Now I'm gonna move on to the next one, starting at my dot, cutting all the way up to the line and stop. I'm going to continue to do this until I've cut eight lines. Two more. Again, it's okay if they're not perfect. All right. So when you're done, you should open it up and it should kind of look like guitar strings or window blinds. If you have any pieces that are falling off or if you have any loose strips, that means you haven't done something correctly. Let me show you what it looks like if I cut it the wrong way. Okay, if your paper turns out like this, kind of looks like a broom or a brush or grass, this is not going to work. So you're going to have to grab a new piece of paper and try again. If this happens to you, Pause the video, rewind to when Mrs. A gave the directions earlier and try again until you have a loom that looks like this. All right, we're gonna talk about the actual weaving process now. Weaving is a pattern and the pattern we use for weaving is over, under, over, under. So as you're working today, keep repeating this pattern to yourself. Over, under, over, under. All right. Now that you have your loom and your weft strings, we're going to flip this over again to the blank side. It's just a little bit easier to see what you're doing when you have the white instead of all the colors that we made. I'm gonna take one of my strips of paper. I'm also going to flip it upside down. Now I did my painting on green construction paper, which is why you see green here. But if you created your uh, paper artwork on two white pieces of paper, the opposite side would be white. So for mine, I'm gonna take my first strip. And remember that weaving is an over, under, over, under pattern. Your strip is gonna go over and under all of these um, slits that you cut into your paper. So I'm gonna start by going under. I'm gonna take my strip and I'm gonna go under and then over, under, and over, under, and over. You might notice how Mrs. A is grabbing the paper as it comes through to make it easier. I'm lifting up the strips, going over, under, over, under. If you have done this correctly, the last two on the outside will match. So since I started with under, I'm also going to end with under. I'm gonna push this all the way to the top as far as it will go. And then I'm going to grab another strip. Again, we're working with the backs of our papers facing us. For the next strip, I'm gonna do the opposite of what I just did. So if I ended with under, the next thing I need to do is over. So I'm gonna go over this first strip here. I'm gonna use my hands to pull up the second one to go under and then over. Under and over. Under, over, under and over. 
All right, friends, check my work. Are the ends of my strip matching? Yes, they are. That means that I've done this correctly. Let me show you some examples, mistakes that happen when you're weaving. And it's okay if they happen to you because you can just pull the strip back out and try again. All right, so my next strip, I want you to think about what I might be doing wrong as you watch me do this. All right. Do you think you know what I've done wrong here? Aha. So what I did was instead of going under again, I started with over. I have two strips that are exactly matching. That's not correct. Remember, I wanna see the opposite of what I did before for my next strip. So if I make this mistake, I can just pull this out and try again. Okay, here's something else that happens a lot when we're practicing weaving. See if you can find where I make a mistake. I remembered to start under this time. Hmm, something's not quite right there either. Do you think you know what it is? You might have noticed that I started with under, but I ended with over. So something's not quite right here. Let me go back and look at my strips. Aha, I have accidentally gone over two strips in a row. So I can just take this out or I can pull it back to where I made my mistake and fix it from there. That way I don't have to start all the way over again. Under, over, under, over, and under. All right, so now I'm gonna again scooch it all the way up to the very top. And what you start to see kiddos is a checkerboard pattern. So if you've done this correctly, you should be able to see a checkerboard pattern of your strips, the weft strings and the warp strings. All right, I'm gonna keep weaving here so that you can see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, I've run out of room to add more strips. That means that I'm done. Quickly, I'm gonna make sure that I have a checkerboard pattern where each strip is the opposite of what came before it, and that if I started with under, I ended with under. If I started with over, I ended with over. If I see any mistakes, I'm just gonna go back and pull those strips out and fix my mistake. Let's see what it looks like from the front. When you're completely finished with your weaving, you can take a little bit of glue and put a dot of glue under all of your strips. That way they don't fall out. Otherwise, you're all finished and now you know how to weave. Great job. Okay. I know paper weaving can be difficult, um, but please remember that you can pause the video at any point and rewind and watch again if you need to try again. Um, send me a picture of your final uh, paper weaving, and if you have any questions, you can always send me a message in the Canvas inbox, and I can try to help you out as best I can. All right, guys, have fun weaving, good luck, and I can't wait to see what you make.